Hey what's going on guys, Kovamakikian Z here. In this video we're going to be implementing get time in milliseconds function serving the purpose of counting the time taken to pass the perf test and also for some, for some uh, search time and purposes as well. And um, the tiny little detail regarding this function that depending on the operating system the implementation would be slightly different. So those of you who is on Windows would have uh, a little bit different code compared to those who uh, who's coding on Linux just like I do but uh, obviously uh, I would implement both uh, versions here so regardless of operating system you would be able to run and to make you to, to run the code compile and run the code and make use of this get time in milliseconds function so uh, the very first thing we need to do uh, at the very top of our code we need to include uh, some header uh, dependent on the operating system so I can simply say like if def uh, win64 so in case if we're dealing with Windows uh, we just want to uh, okay we just want to include uh, a file called windows.h so like this because that's the exact header having the get to count, count function that is actually responsible for getting time in milliseconds of Windows. Uh, so th that's the matter of the operating system API call. And else, uh, so this would be like on, on, on Unix like systems like Linux or MacOS. Here we need to include. Uh, say, well, at least uh, at least on my uh, on my system, the path uh, is the following, and this should definitely th this should really work on Unix-like systems as well. But if, if you have some issues here, please let me know, and we'll try to find the answer together. So sys system like time dot h. So that's that's the name of the header, and and it here. So let's try to compile and run the code to make sure that it still kind of works so I just want to type make debug and if we compile so I want to run the BBC binary executable okay and yeah this seems to be the output from from the previous part so just great and I just I just quit from here okay and now let's find a proper place well actually yeah, let's actually uh, implement it first here, right above the main driver, and then we'll find an appropriate place for this get time in milliseconds function. So um, this would be the integer, and probably as far as sometimes we might. Well, uh, I'm not sure if I'm if I should really make it static in line. Well, let's let's actually make it just in integer for now, and. Uh, I'll make it static in line later on if needed. So integer get time milliseconds like this. It's not going to be taking uh, any arguments. So here I just want to say uh, get time in milliseconds like this. And here again, depending on the operating system we have, it, it would be executing kind of different code. So again, I can say if defined, so if def win64, uh, in this case, I want to return, and now just to give you an idea what exactly I'm supposed to be returning here. So here, uh, there's, these are the documentation from uh, Windows API. We got this function called get tick count and that that's literally enough to return the value produced by this get tick count function if you're in windows and here else so if you're in linux uh, it's going to be a little bit more uh difficult but uh, it's 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 not that much really so if we have a look at the documentation of get time of day function uh, so here it is basically here is the example call but we obviously don't need the time zone so we need just to pass the pointer to so-called structure time well and well first we actually need to uh, create the instance of this structure and here we have the values that the time well structure contains so if I just copy this uh, if I just copy this structure and say 
time time well uh, well let's call this I don't know let's call this time and now we can already call our um, get time of day function so let me just grab this entire stuff here and uh, I just want to so it, it calls it it calls it TV which pro which probably stands for time value so let's let's actually call this time value like they suggest so uh, structure time value pointer okay and we don't need the time zone pointer so we just may pass null here okay and now uh, we could have returned uh, and, and now uh, <laughs> regarding the w what to return this this is the most interesting part so we're going to return just uh, this part uh, but in this case we, we would be having only seconds which is not it's, which is not the case for us and if we just return only this tv usec we'll, we'll get only microseconds which is not really that good but we actually want to mm, the, we, we actually want exactly the same behavior for both functions like get tick count and uh, and this Linux version. So in order to do this, we need to provide some calculations on this value. So we need to multiply uh, seconds by by a th by a th uh, by a, th a thousand, and then we need to add uh, TV usec divided by by a thousand. And that's the way how we can obtain uh, exactly the same values for for both functions. So I can simply say like return uh, and this TV sec multiplied by but but hold on hold on so we just want to reference uh, the structure obviously so time well dot tv sec multiplied by thousand plus time well tv u sec or how, how is this called okay like this uh, divided by thousand as well and here don't forget to put and if okay and this should actually work so let's compile around the code excuse me to a few arguments oh I just didn't call it I just didn't call it uh, time value obviously <laughs> I just forget to pass uh, uh, I just forget to pass the actual pointer so uh, I'm passing the address so this and stands for the address of this time value, uh, time value structure instance. Yeah, obviously. Okay. So uh, he here here we just had a, a definition, not the, not the fun function call, but the definition. So it means that we need to pass the time well uh, the pointer to the time well structure. So we're using this and symbol, and then the time well to to pass the address of where this instance is located within our random access memory okay so from now on it should actually yeah it does compile and run perfect and now i just want to show you how to make use of this function so i probably i won't probably be getting rid of this code because we would have been reusing this after a slight change within our perf test routine so i'll just i will just leave it and here uh, so we, we need to, to create the so-called start variable and it would be equal to get time in milliseconds like this so um, let's say start uh, <laughs> start uh, tracking tracking time and here uh, we can say uh, like time taken to execute uh, uh, execute program like 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 this. So uh, actually, the time mostly would depend on how long it takes the user to to <laughs> press enter to make this get character function to to fire to fire this get character function. Well, okay. So I just want to say like print f and let's uh, say time taken uh, to execute and this would be the decimal new line and I just say get time 
in milliseconds minus and our start variable and this this should be just it so I'm just waiting for a couple of seconds I can then do something and you see like I was thinking for for about five uh, five seconds and this this is the, the value in my in, in microseconds added here as well so uh, if if I just if I just make it faster if I just make it faster uh, you see like it takes only one second so uh, also we could print kind of milliseconds here to make sure this is the number of milliseconds okay so and now it was instantly it was done instantly so kind of no, no time taken at all okay guys so the very last test i would like to take within this video is actually trying this for windows and hopefully to get exactly the same uh format of uh, uh of milli of uh, millisecond of milliseconds being printed into into console so assuming that we already have this uh, this uh, uh, Windows binary execu executable being compiled, uh, being compiled, uh, I can just run it. And yeah, uh, another issue here that it would escape before. Yeah, it would just escape before um, before printing the time. So we won't really see anything here, unfortunately. Yeah, it print it, it did print, but yeah, just just to alter the code a little bit. So let's create another get character and actually try to compile around this again. Okay, now this should kind of work. So I don't know, I don't need this version. Uh, instead, I would like to well, just close this one and let's open the Windows binary executable via Wine. Uh, emulator on Linux so and you see like we got this value so the format is is been absolutely the same like we had with a Windows get to count function so the, 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 this this is what I wanted to show you guys well obviously I can't I can't spend the same time uh, uh, making this uh, pressing this enter button but it would just take some fixed task like the perf test the values should be should be the same well at least uh, well uh, assuming that I have a wine emulator it might be a little bit slower compared to, compared to the native uh, execution so not exactly the same but anyway when when it comes to the perf test then I would also show you how this timing would be working on Windows as well well okay guys so this is it from my side I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching hope you learned something interesting out of it I hope to see you in the next video until then and take care